I do know I do know where you can get better needles. The sprites of Valsharar are, are covered with spines which are fortuitously are, which fortuitously are perfect for the type of sewing we need. I hate to be a prickly stick a prickly, a prickler sticker, but uh, these needles really will make a difference. He doesn't have an at all. I think I have to head to normal Dal and uh, I have old Dal and old like Burn Crusade and whatnot. I grab some old um, stuff that I don't have. Annoying. So uh, first and foremost, let's get in here. Oh, and you're actually there. You're just there for the other thing. Wait for it to load to actually read it. Right back. Yo. Uh, tell me, Paladin, have you explored the wondrous goods that Dalren has to offer? If you can't find what you're looking for, uh, chances I know someone who can help. Really hard to read that. That sounds kind of weird for someone doll to be saying King's Honor. Because, you know, doll. Claw gloves. Gloves of a horn strategy. Grapple with aboard the Deathbringer. Um, Manus Rider. Yeah, new. <sighs> These first aid things are, um. They've been nuisance, really. They're a bit of a bitch to actually go get, you know? I'll get them eventually, but they'll take a while. That they will take, take a fucking long while. To be honest, bringing a guy in that's clearly hungry, you know, hungry for mana into a mage city sounds a bit risky, doesn't it? But maybe I'm just being cautious. Tarzul. Tarzul, Tarzul, Tarzul. Wasn't that the orc that invaded Karazhan during the pre-patch? Potentially. Potentially. Oh, remember that the uh, lore novel I was telling you about uh, with Brox? Um, I've only read one of the series, so I haven't read it all, so I'm... Okay, there's some Marala quests here, but yeah, I'm I'm not uh, some. I yeah, I'm not some guru at it. I'm um, my knowledge of the whole thing is very limited. Like I said, I've only read the one book. Okay, there's some Marala quests here, and I've no idea who, what, when, or why. A bit further over here. Misjudged, misjudged. McGurk, Mr. McGurk, and Mrs. McGurk. He even has a mustache. Weird. And a shotgun. Clearly, these are class qu um, class quests of some sort. Vineyard. I figured there must be like the burning. Remember the quest up here in High Mountain. There must be uh, some faction, you know, mage tower quest or something. You know, I figure, but figuring only goes so far. Poor Swift's flight. 
actually... Well, if it's here. Okay, if I want to get the enemy, I have to go down and say hi to you. Suscitator. Ugh. I survived the fall. Swift flight. Where's swift flight? You know, you'd figure the dwarves here would care a bit more about, you know, a night elf just plump slapping off the ground over there and this slapping off the ground here. What's on your mind? We tried to mount the addition into Zaranhar, but all manner of the uh, wrong happening in those but there's all manner of wrong happening in those rooms. Your beloved Swift Flight is dead. You managed to survive the fall night elf. You won't be that lucky again. Hero. Avenge Swift, uh, Swift Flight. Mind if I do. Thank you, hero. I could not have done this alone. Sadly, no world quest for these guys. Sprite torn. Sprites are, 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 made, are almost entirely made of these. Then why did I only get four? That's more like it. You know, if they really like this tailoring, like, like, like these needles for tailoring, then what did they do when they were trapped in, you know, under that dome. They must have they must have some other substitute, but um, uh, you know this is you know we just don't have access to it, access to it. This is the best other thing we could get. Okay, gonna be honest. Think that I think that has the same voice as like some Astro Boy character, or, like some like you know Astro Boy like character. Maybe it wasn't Astro Boy, maybe it was something else. But I remember seeing a cartoon. Maybe I'm thinking of that's it. You know, Rusty, but uh, big guy and Rusty. It really makes me think of Rusty. Big guy and Rusty. I think it's based off a comic. Well, there's a TV show of it. Yeah, I think it's based off a comic book or something. I can't remember entirely. Uh, I remember it's based off the TV show's based off something, but was I have no clue. But it's about um, anyway the the TV show um, I saw was about um, uh, was about a. Well, there's a ro they basically made a robot for crime fighting. Well, I'm, well, not crime fighting for like you know, alien, for dealing with like alien invasions and shit like this, you know. But it's like a full fledged AI, you know. It's it, you know, it's 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 not you know a walking death machine yet. It actually has to learn how to be one. It's you know a kid robot, and they had a. Um, but before they had him, they had another guy around doing the job for him. They were going to retire big guy, as he's called, to replace him with Rusty. First episode reveals that wouldn't really work, because Rusty's inexperienced. So, you know, team up. Um, to be honest, I lost my train of thought halfway through saying that. But, yeah. I don't remember too much about big guy and Rusty. I only saw a couple episodes as a kid. But uh, I remember big guy... Uh, he's just actually a mech piloted by a guy, though Rusty doesn't know that. Rusty thinks he's a 
just an older bot like uh, he's just a he's a bot like him just an older iteration um he doesn't realize he's being piloted by a guy um helps that the guy has a very you know like it's it, he, when he's in the suit he's big guy talks but he says shit that the other the other guy doesn't do doesn't like he has really overly patriotic lines, you know that kind of shit, and uh, it's 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 funny. So yeah, it's, it's, he's not just Clark Kenting it, you know. Um, but yeah, ba basically the show's about them, you know, fending off aliens, d doing shit like that. To be honest, I've I not really the best of judges. I've only like I said, I've only seen a few episodes, but it's about boy robot and human pilot guy piloting a mech. Beyond that, I'm not qualified to say. But I did enjoy it. I did, from what I remember, I loved the show. When I I had a TV um, when I was at my nan's growing up, I had a TV in my room. It was at the end of bed. I would wake up and turn on the TV and be so excited when Big Guy and Rusty was on. I never knew when it would be on. We, um, for whatever reason, I just... like. I think maybe at the time we didn't have something like Sky or whatever, where we could see ahead. We would just have the normal TV, you know? Um, so... A week, I... I did never think of checking the TV guide, so I was just like, it was just always a gamble when it would come on, and I'd be so excited when I saw it. I remember seeing some really old Simpson episodes too, like from the early seasons, um, on TV that way too, and it was I loved it. It was so cool. But yeah, I, I really recommend the show. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm no real place to really comment on it any further than I already have. We probably said too much. But it's it's a fun show. It's it's a good show. Certainly if I haven't made it sound that great, take give a look give a look to it anyway. This probably should go true for anything I try and recommend. Because I'm just not great at describing it. Plus when I'm like half asleep, it doesn't really help either. So give it a look. See what you think. Watch the first couple episodes. Certainly like with the do ra 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 show, it like the first episode didn't do it for me. Well, I watched the second one and I'm hooked. Or, you know, certainly more interested and a few episodes in, I'm hooked. So, you know, you may want to watch the first couple of episodes just to see. Like, even if I don't make it sound good, maybe it's just my description being shitty. You know? Like I said, I haven't watched enough episodes and I'm not good at talking off the cuff. I have to write things out and fully plot things out, you know, fret over it for a couple of months before I'm happy with it. And even then, yeah. The eternal sun guides us. Your friend thinks th it thinks these needles will make a difference? Hmm, he may have a point. These needles are quite strong. They don't have a nice bounce to them. Still, I do take issue with the sh their shape and feel. I have an idea. These needles are sharp, but look at them closely. Some have a curve to them. Others will ha have a sprung uh, hanging off the side. Look at this one. It's got a 90 degree crook to in it. I've no desire to sew, sew around the corner. Tiffany uh, Carrier... Cartier in the jewel crafting shop has good eye for this sort of thing. Bring these needles to her and she'll straighten them out. Meticulous precision. Need help? Um, I was told that you can sharpen these needles for me. Easy enough. I'd like to get this for the achievement, but I still can't afford it. Done. Tell uh, uh, Tanrieta, Tanria. That she owes me another silk pillow. Uh, watch this. These will make excellent sewing needles. Look, uh, uh, what's this power Uh, look at these. Strong, uh, light, flexible, sharp, and with a fine curve and a smooth edge. You certainly put your dower and touched on it. It's the best of both worlds. Not fussing over our tools now. Shall we sew? You've already learned the patterns for bra uh, bracers, belts, epaulets, and of course robes. Unfortunately, your technique has was wasteful. You need a better method. That's where our needles come in. Here, I'll show you how to improve the process of these patterns. I can't carry anymore. Okay. 
Okay, switch. Uh, I just got a fresh shipment of runic cat cup. How nice! If you're spoiled, well, you can buy some for me. Uh, for t uh, practicing tearing patterns, Dalran, don't steal. Not you. You. Some junk. Use. Um, already serves for the row, but the additional runic embroiderment will make it even more powerful. Okay, keep your eye on your needlework. Don't lose focus now. Now, it's not just lovely. Go on, try it out yourself. Where did he run off to? Baladash Malinore. Ooh, nice! Just got all those ref uh, the re all my recipes now will just upgrade it. And if I want to get rest, I have to do work orders. Annoying. Hmm, I could certainly level my stuff up a fair bit. Um, my like my tailoring up a fair bit if I just um, made a few of these. That's strange. So I, uh, Lindris was here one moment, then he ran off next. Such a strange look on his face. Perhaps we should track him down. Okay, he's over on the other side. What's he doing over here? Okay, he's actually down below. Okay, I should switch back to Retribution. Okay. Crazed me. Okay, I actually did get rid of my wild magic wand. Fifty uh cycle size. Grab this. Widow sister rogues. Hang on to your wallets. Huh. A strength increased by 400. Nice. Screecher whistle. Hmm. Hello. For Bally Low Life. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I can get this from here. 250. Not sure if it's quite worth it. Have a good one. You, you have an interest. Will widow sister. Side of his eyes. Bad hands. I think I remember something being interesting, but I. Oh, Andres. There you are. I think I remember there being some interest, uh, interesting thing down here, but I can't remember what. Like, um. Oh yeah, you can, there's some vendors you can buy like, like a, a ton of you know, like all the crafting reagents off of. Fish and shite. She has no thing for me. These potions are just delightful. Vendors, what are you doing here? 
Uh, I was just looking for uh, new dyes. Yes, that's it. New dyes. Oh, return to the shop immediately. No, dude, I have got the cure for this. <laughs> Again, due to me doing this kind of out of continuity, you know, we w it does come off as a bit weird. And he's gone. Wait, I did it. I'm the greatest warlock that ever lived. Doom's Shadow Coil. Shadow Coil. And he's dead. I think in the future I'll probably come back and worry about all this um, cyclical side stuff. It's probably easier to deal with when there's no one else around. Yeah. So I'll come back and make an expansion when I'm max level and whatnot. Worry about it then. Hopefully we'll still be here. Sorry about that, Paula. You caught me snooping around. It's almost my curiosity got the better of me. I want me to make it up to you. Your tailoring skill is really impressive, and although I don't have my patterns with me, I do have uh, some patterns memorized. One of those patterns is for a simple bag. Follow my lead, Paula. Oh, pal, and I, I have some sprite torrents for sale. If you have any need for, for uh, need for any in your bag recipe. Yep. Can I help you? So gonna have to worry about those then. And for some reason, they're using the same. T not the biggest bag available, but it can't be, it can't be beat for the cost. There's nothing quite like a new bag. And there you have it. Not the best bag in the world, but it's better than most. On the pod just get for running off, pal. My, my uh, hunger, uh, curiosity, occasion is better than me. Promise will not happen again. Uh -huh. 24 slot bag. 30. Well, that's not bad. I'll create a few and try and auction them. Where's Landris again? Oh dear. Just promised that you that he wouldn't wander off, and then he did it again. I don't think this little slanderous character might be a bit too impetuous for my taste. Please go find him before he gets into any more trouble. <laughs> You're still here. Okay, he's up top. Just a taste, that's all I need, just one little taste. Oh gods, what is that thing? Someone help! Please, it's tearing my room apart. Get away from me. I know it's in here. I know it. I just stop. Please, stop. Get a hold of yourself, man. What? Oh. It's you, Pal and I. I was just looking for something. My apologies. I'll return to the shop immediately. Uh, sorry about that. Going green jam. Research notes. A most inc uh, most encouraging breakthrough. I was finally able to summon a Smekra of life in the form of a small green dragon, though, but it ap initially appeared as though this was a, merely a fluke. The water wielder could replicate the effect. Uh, through some experimentation and a sudden shocking heat in my pocket, I discovered a forgotten green dragon scale in that pocket, and the pieces fell into place. The wand needed focus to channel the green, uh, to channel the arcane energies through. Immediately etch runes onto the wand to provide a basic focus and try it again. Fortunately, this allowed me to some, uh, this only allowed me to summon a simple la a small lamb, mere reflection of the simplest of all arcane manifestations. Still, the green scale allowed me to summon the green the whelp again. I wonder if there might be other items that may act as a focus for the wand and summon other various uh, simacra. Further experimentation is as always necessary. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. 
Uh, Vinny's notes detailed the precise components and incantation necessary to make contact with a powerful demon. The final page contains Lavinia's personal reflections before performing the ritual. All of the current towards research into Succubi and other Sayed have come to one conclusion. They are not to be trusted. But after meeting Agatha, I'm, uh, I'm left to wonder, what are they wrong? They already granted me much power, as I had never touched uh, as I have never I had never touched the major current tour. She cares for me more than any other council ever did. There's only one way I can know for sure. I must go to her. Agatha. She sounds familiar. See, I've heard that name before. Rise of the Blood Elves? Uh, it's commissioned by the Archmage Curators, don't worry about returning it, it'll return on its own. At this time, the Undead Scourge had essentially transformed Lordaeron and Kaltalas into the Toxic Plague Lands. There was only a few pockets of Alliance Resistance Forces left. One such group, consisting primarily of High Elves, was led by the last of the Sunstrider dynasty, Prince Keltalas. Uh, Prince Keltas, sorry, Tas. Uh, Kale, an accomplished wizard himself, grew wary of the fa 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 uh, failing alliance. The High Elves grieved for the loss of their homeland, so they called themselves Blood Elves in honor of their fallen people. Yet as they worked to keep the uh, Scourge at bay, they suffered greatly at being caught off from the Sun World that had empowered them. That's to prevent a cure for his people's racial addiction to magic, Kale did the unthinkable, embraced his people's highborn ancestry, and joined with the Ilden and his Naga in hopes of finding a new magical power source upon, uh, upon which to feed. That isn't quite true. It's skipping plenty of steps. Okay, Prince Kale helps um, um, Maiev and Malfurion fend off um, Uh, he helps Malfurion and Maiev stop Ilden. He was trying to kill, uh, he was in L Lordaeron, channeling a spell um, aimed at Northrend. He was like ripping the world apart with it. Um, they had to stop him before he finished it, because if he did, he was going to fucking rip the world apart. And so because of this, he was late for a meeting. The general hates non-humans, utterly hates non-humans. And he, you now he was late for the meeting. The general doesn't give a shit that for Kale's reasons and is pissed at him. Tells Kale to resource some watchtowers and just merely wait. Um, Kale wants to be in the front line to, to help, you know, avenge his people, but he's hoped, you know, repaired watchtowers and that's it. By the time he gets to the dock to get some boats, the dock and the boats are destroyed. The Naga offer him some help. I'm think thinking about it. Maybe the Naga destroyed the dock themselves. There was some Scourge battering on it, but it wouldn't be too hard to destroy it than bait some Scourge into attacking it. You know? But anyway. Um, that was destroyed. Then, he, uh, he gets them all going, and there's a Scourge army nearby, and a messenger comes back requisitioning all his heavy forces. His knights, his uh, siege units, uh, ba um, base, I think basically all of his dwarves and... Actually, no, I think it was just all his heavy units, like knights and siege units. And so he was like, you know, what am I to, how am I meant to do with the Scourge? With harsh shit sticks and harsh language? It's a great line, when he says it. And so he's, you know, has to monster and force by himself, you know, with what he has. And the Naga come back to help him again. Um, let me find the, her name. Lady, uh, this lady here, Lady Fashi, she comes back and offers help. Um, she offers assistance again. She was there first time, and she just comes back again and offers her to join him. She would fight alongside him, and you, she also brings two uh, royal guard with her, powerful myrmidons. You get Naga Myrmidons later on in the campaign, but you get the Royal Guard, units that you don't normally get. And they're really burly Myrmidons. They have Chaos Damage, which does full damage to all armor types. All of them. 
and it's this is in Frozen Throne, Chaos Damage before it did bonus damage to Divine Beings. But um, And I think it also did full damage to all armor types, but there's no Divine Beings in the other thing, so it expli explicitly states full damage to all armor types. They also have various spells, one is the giant wave attack, you kind of saw that back on the Broken Shore, with the lady enemy that summoned in Royal Guard, she had a wave attack as well. They do something like that, but it's a single wave and goes much faster. Similarly, they can also summon in Water Elemental. I think they have another power, but I can't remember it. Um, anyway, they fe help, fend help him fend off the Scourge Army, because he has three bases, and he's reduced to one because of early Scourge attacks. Um, he forces them back, and as the Nagar are leaving, the General notice sees, the, sees it and is like, Kale's working with the Naga. Imprison him. We're executing him at dawn. No investigation, no nothing, just execute him. Only after he's tossed in the dungeon, the Naga, t after he's tossed in the dungeon, Naga turn up again and say, Hey, buddy, let me break you out. And they break him out. And they fight their way through. Kale runs, uh, uh, there's, there's a side quest with the ghost of Antonius. Which is weird considering Elden killed him with. Oh, sorry, I presu I always figured Artis had killed him with Frostmourne, taking his soul, but somehow Antonius is. Um, you know, the. You know, the guy over there, Antandius or whatever he's called, his soul is still in the dungeons of Dalaran. Well, his spirit was. I, I know, it seems like a plot hole. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Or maybe he didn't die to Frostmourne. He got stabbed with it, lingered a bit. Then killed over and died. Oh, kitty. What's it called? What's it called? Ah, Sunny, the page's cat. But, um, so anyway. Uh, someone, she just yelled that again. But anyway, um, he fights his way through. He, may, he finds the warden who stands against him. But doesn't really want to. It, he's doing his job, but he does like Kale. Kale likes him, and it's kind of a sad moment. If also, if you find, if you walked around well enough, you'll find a sheep. And if you kill the sheep in the right way, you'll knock a secret mission, um, where you have to defend for long enough uh, while your people are trying to escape through a portal to Outland. You have to defend off the war, the other guy's forces, and it's. I think a tower defense thing or something, I can't remember honestly. But yeah, you have to do something like that. And if you do it for long enough, like 15, 20 minutes or something, you get a Pandaren hero on the next mission. It's He's non canon as far as I know. And he's just there to help out on the next mission. Uh, but anyway, uh, Kale only. Uh, he sides with the Naga there again, obviously, trying to escape. And he escapes to Outland, where he then meets up with Ilden and throws his lot in with him. The Nagas were actually loyal to Ilden. They were his Naga. You might have found that out earlier, but I don't remember. Certainly, I don't. she didn't mention it in the first or second encounter. Maybe in the third. Um, but anyway, he joins Ilden there. Only after the Alliance has already cast him out. Only after it. This is retconning it somewhat. I'm a little annoyed at that. Anyway. Um... The reigning Alliance commanders condemned the Blood Elves as traitors and cast them out for good. With no place left to go, Kale and his Blood Elves followed Vash, Lady Vash to Outland to help contest the Warden uh, uh, Maeve, who had captured Il recaptured Odin. With the combined Naga and Blood Elf forces, they managed to free, uh, defeat Maeve and free Odin from her grasp. Based in Outland, Odin gathered his forces for a second strike against the Lich King and his fortress of Ice Crown. And that's the uh, that will be shown in the end of the but of, uh, of the Undead campaign of Frozen Throne, a mission that I've never actually completed before and may never complete now because the uh, recent Warcraft 3 update breaks saves. If you save too much on a mission, this, your future saves on that mission will be borked as well. You can get like five saves off before the saves will just be glitched. It's really fucking annoying. It's really damn annoying. What was I just bitching about? I remember saying the PV. Uh, I was remember talking about the war there, and the recon pissing me off. But then I got distracted reading this. 
and I'm just kind of confused. I, 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 it kind of just like snapped, and I was like, wait, what, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about the Warcraft 3 update. It just completely broke the saves. Completely broke them. And, like, like... It's so annoying, because I was having so much fun with it, but now I, it's so much more difficult, because, like, okay, I've saved so much, but, you know, I, I have to start back, you know, 40 minutes, because I, you know, I saved here. I, I saved too much. I, 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 you know, these saves are wordless. I can't save for the rest of this mission, so I have to war fiddle my way through without saving at all. And I saved come a lot. Just so, like, okay, that was the wrong choice. I'll reload so I can do the right thing. Reload, do the right thing. You know, if I do this, this move my way through. If I have to do it the other way, then I have... Then it punishes my mistakes so much heavier, so much harder, and so much harder for ye. And, oh, it's so fucking annoying. But anyway. Mining aside. Wait. Oh, it's only six runs for two hours. So it's said two days. But yeah. Um, I'll be doing that at some stage. Wouldn't be out by this time. So I've spoiled a lot of things, but whatever. My most sincere apologies, Pownoy. But I didn't make a spectacle of myself. For you may have also put the good name of the, your tearing shop at risk. You have every right to be upset with me. Uh, I wish I had more patterns to share, but my notebook was lost along with my shop. We need to come up with some patterns on our own. I've been thinking about the leather breeches that the Stormhelm Vite crew will wear. They're certainly much thicker and heavier than anything we could sew, but their embouching room work is quite spectacular. If I had a few pairs, perhaps I could reimagine this room work on a more refined garment. Okay, I'm just gonna get a fight over. But I swear I was to find two woo. Uh, yeah. This is nice. I, I, I hate being at max level, because, well, max level can be nice, but I love leveling up through an expansion and getting all the new quests and new stuff and, you know, all this. So I, lo I love doing this tailoring quest here, because it's a little taste of it, you know? It's a little flavor of it, and I like it. But yeah, I'm going to head soon. I've stayed up for too long. I need to get some sleep. And I need to be up in the morning. And I might get some recording done then. Some, um... Might not. We'll have to wait and see. I kind of wish I could go get some Warcraft 3 done. But I really feel bad about trying to get any Warcraft 3 done. Because I feel like I have to focus on this and try and get some of this done. You know? Whatever. No, not whatever. But yeah, I, I feel like I have to focus. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought and just saying whatever that comes to mind. But yeah, um, I just feel I have to focus on this and just keep making videos, trying to make some measure of progress. Excuse me. Just some measure of progress towards my goal of, you know, getting more prestige. Getting you know more artifact power, you know, just have to keep, keep, keep doing it, and it's it's an obsession, and I, I, I probably could get away with you know not recording WoW, uh, you know, Legion for a day or two. I could probably get away with that, maybe even a week, but I just don't feel comfortable doing it because I, 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 I don't want to fall behind. I don't want to miss out. Breaches. Oh Barco